Welcome to Yedidiyashovet.net and welcome to week number 51 in Halacha of the Week. Today's question which was addressed to Chief Rabbi is Basically it's like this. May there always be many Kiddush opportunities on Shabbat and many days of the week which means normally on Shabbat if there's a Bar Mitzvah, if there's a wedding there's a Brit Milah, there's a Bia Ben, which is a father or a father and mother just had a kid, whether a daughter or a boy, it doesn't make a difference. They wanted to share their simcha, share their happy occasion. So what do they mostly do? Shabbat, they invite everyone to have kiddush, which means they have the wine out there, sometimes some schnapps, some vodka, some whiskey, some, uh, some mizonot, some cookies, some danishes, and all these other things. Which, which actually make people stay a little bit longer in synagogue in order to finally enjoy themselves afterwards. And they have all of these beautiful delicacies ready, and they want to make kiddush. So this kiddush that they want to make, it, the guy, the chazan, the rabbi, the father, whoever it is, he holds his cup and he says kiddush. He has everyone in mind, and everyone answers amen. And everyone drinks together, and they go around, and they drink, and it's beautiful. So the question is like this that he's asking. You know there's a Kiddush somewhere. A Kiddush is, as I said, happy occasion where they have all these uh, delicacies and drinks. Now, what is the Kiddush? The Kiddush is an enabler. Because you just went the entire morning. You prayed, you learned Torah, you, uh, you heard uh, the Torah being read, you said Musaf, the rabbi speaking, all the beautiful things. And now that you're coming to begin your Sudat of Shabbat, the meal for Shabbat, the meal of Shabbat can mean different things, but for us to start a meal, we have to say Kiddush. Kiddush, it means to sanctify. And when you start off the meal, it's not just to eat but it's to eat it in honor of Shabbat. So you say the Kiddush to enable yourself so you could begin this meal. How do you say Kiddush? With something that is very chashuv, something that is very valuable, that is honorable, that is wine. And so you take this wine, you say the Kiddush, and then you enable yourself to go wherever you want in order to eat and drink on Shabbat for the meals. Before that, uh, even water, there are, there are uh, poskim, there are rabbis who say you should not drink because the whole point is that you want to do everything for the mitzvah, for the feeling of Shabbat. So the question that's being asked is that what about, okay, so you make a kiddush, but there's no food over here. You make a kiddush and you just wanted to, and then you know later I'm going to have a kiddush somewhere else. I'm going to eat somewhere else. Can you do that? Or, for instance, you say kiddush, in one room and the food's in another room. Or there's no food at all. Are you allowed to say Kiddush if the whole point was to enable, and over here there's no food, it, does it defeat the purpose or not? So in fact, the rabbi, he answers and he says that Kiddush, there's a halakha that says that Kiddush has to be b'makom se'uda. It has to be where the meal is taking place. What does that mean? That means within the vicinity of where the meal is taking place, you should say Kiddush. Why? Because the whole point that you're saying Kiddush is for what? For you to eat? I'm sorry, for you to drink? No. It's for you to drink, to eat, to enjoy for the Suda. And if you're over there and you and you take a sip of the wine and you say Kiddush, ah, oh, that's beautiful. What was the whole point of that? What, for you just to, to just drink a little wine? That wasn't the point. The wine is drunk in order for you to eat. Not the wine is drunk in order just for you to have the wine. So when you say this Kiddush and there's no food around, really you shouldn't be able to eat anything. Uh, you shouldn't be able to just say the Kiddush. And that's what many of the rabbis say. They say you shouldn't do that. Rather have some mizonot there, have something there that you can eat afterwards. So what do you do in a situation where you know that the food is in another room? For instance, you go to a nice synagogue, go to a banquet hall, you go and they say Kiddush one area, the food's in another room, it's another part of the area. So it's like this. First of all, if you can see the other area, it's considered as part of the vicinity. If you had in mind and you say Kiddush, also you could be lenient to go to that area to say Kiddush. I mean to say Kiddush and to go eat over there. But the best thing that you should do is to take the cup 
you say Kiddush, make sure to drink about 3 ounces, 3.2 ounces, and then you have nothing to worry about. Ah, what is this leniency? So explain it like this. Because really all you need for Kiddush is just a sip. You need a sip for Kiddush. That little bit of a sip of for Kiddush, it may, fulfills your obligation of doing Kiddush. But when you take a sip of Kiddush, and you drink a, a more than the more than necessary. You're showing that you're beginning, you're you're uh, you're initiating your meal, which is your suda of Shabbat, and that you're starting in uh, you're starting to uh, to wet your appetite. So when you go to have your Danish, to have your bread, to have your cholent, to have your your chicken, your choresh, or whatever it is, you already began. And when you do that, you don't have to worry that it, about Kiddush with Makom Soda, that Kiddush has to only be made in a, a place of the meal. Because over here, you're starting yourself off. But this is on the last resort. So the best thing that you should always do is for L'chvot Shabbat Kodesh, for Shabbat with great honor and great respect, is to take this cup, have something in front of you, danishes, some food, some kugel, whatever it is. You say the Kiddush, and once you say the Kiddush, Ah, then you could begin, say the brachot, say hamot, say do all the things. Because together, that's what fulfills your Shabbat meal. That's how you are mekadesh Shabbat. That's how you are making Shabbat holy. Now to understand why is it that through food, you think that's how you make Shabbat holy? So I'll, uh, I'll explain another time how we tie in the beautiful ways of our physical and how our spiritual comes together. But for all intents and purposes, I want to say, Mazal Tov, and may there only be Kiddush and Kiddush Hashem's and moments of Simcha, happy occasions that we can all celebrate around together. Amen.